Hello and welcome to today's video lesson with Mr. Spencer's math class. We're continuing on in our A Slice of Pizza series talking about fractions. Um, without further ado, let's just dive on in. Now, I did remember our agenda today and our agenda bear is here and she is ready to go. Um, so first, we're going to start with a welcoming activity. Second, we're going to do a number talk about strawberries. I am very excited for this and it is making me hungry. Um, third, we are going to talk about how do we divide. We'll look at big numbers, sorry, small numbers, then big numbers, and then fractions. Then we'll do some practice, and then we'll have an exit ticket to wrap up our class today. So first off, I want you to look at these four emojis. I want you to take a minute or two to think about what each emotion the emojis could stand for, and then show us which emoji you feel like today. Um, and then I'd love to have you explain which one you chose and why in a comment below or in the discussion board post. Um, awesome, so pause the video here when you have decided which one you feel like and why, unpause it and then jump back in with us. Awesome, I chose number four um, because I am so excited to be here continuing on in our discussions and learning about fractions today. Awesome. So we're going to dive into a number talk. Uh, this is going to look a little different since you're watching this not live. Um, but I definitely do want you to share your thinking and share your explanation as to why or as to your reasoning, um, either in a discussion post or in a comment below. But without counting these strawberries one by one, figure out how many strawberries there are and then share that um, and how you figured it out. I would challenge you to take time to find two or three different strategies. Uh, here are the strawberries. Pause the video here, come up with two to three different strategies so you can figure out how many there are. And then once you're good to go, unpause the video and we'll hear one of my strategies. Awesome, so I figured out that there were 30 strawberries. I saw that each column going up and down had five strawberries. And so I counted by five to five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I saw there were six columns of five. So I counted by five and I got 30 total strawberries. I can't wait to hear what you thought, how the way that you came up with the total number of strawberries. I bet it was different than the way I came up with, and that is so cool. Here is a close-up picture of these strawberries. They just make me want to eat them. We also use them to draw them out on the board. Um, but let's talk about division. So take about a minute or two, pause the video, and think about what is division. Once you have some ideas, come on back and we'll, we'll kind of talk about them all together. So, division. Division makes me think of something getting split. If I divide something, I'm going to split that in part. Um, also, somebody today told me, think of divisions in football. In the NFL, there are two conferences, the American Football Conference and the National Football Conference. And then within each one of those, the teams are split up into four different divisions. There's an east, south, north, and west. I think I'm really not sure. But that is absolutely it. Division is splitting up something into different pieces. So I love to think about my piece of paper right here. If I had a piece of paper, if I wanted to divide this into two, I would go, could I divide this again? Absolutely. I can keep on dividing this paper, and it keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller, and then eventually all we have is some snow. But division is definitely splitting something up into different groups. So how do we divide small numbers? Take a moment and solve these three problems and think about how did you get your answer? What process did you use to divide these numbers? Pause the video here and then we'll come back together. Hmm. Okay, so I know that 10 divided by 2 is 5, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. I, would love to, I would love to hear your strategies if you're willing to share them. Shoot me a message or put it in a comment or discussion post. Uh, and then we can see all the different ways to solve them. Now we're getting into big numbers. So take some time and think about, solve these, pause it here. We took about six or seven minutes to solve all three. If it takes you longer, that's all right. Um, but pay attention to how you got each number. There are so many different ways to solve division problems like this, and they are all equally awesome. 
So take some time now, solve it, and then keep watching. Uh, we'll check your answers, but focus on the process. What did you do to divide these big numbers? Awesome. So if you have solved these three problems, let's talk about them. I know that 162 divided by 2 is 81. So check your answer against mine. Uh, the answer for number 2, that second one in the middle, 312 divided by 3 is 3, uh, sorry, 104. And then the answer for the third one, let me do this real fast. We haven't gotten this far. I believe is 1,000. 773. Let me multiply that out real fast and check my work. Oh no, I did that wrong. Let me try that one more time. Six divided by five is seven. All right, let me try that. Try that out. Yeah, five, one, six, three, eight, two. All right, I have done this right now. The answer is one thousand five hundred seventy-three. Thank you so much, so much for bearing with me there. So again, our answers are eighty-one, one hundred four, and one thousand five hundred seventy-three. Um, but the purpose of this was to think about our math process. How did we divide these big numbers? Focus on your strategy, and if you have questions about how to do it or need some additional practice, let me know. We can definitely do that. So now we're going to talk about fractions. How do we divide fractions? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let me think back to one more thing about division that I forgot to mention earlier. Division is the opposite of multiplication, right? So think of the opposite. I have a light here. It is off. The opposite of off is on. Okay. Opposite of on is off. Opposite of off is on. So we're going to think here. Let's do the opposite of off. I need to flip the switch one time, and now it's on. Let's find the opposite one more time for a total of two times. So now we go from on to off. We either have two opposites. And notice when we get two opposites, we end up in the same spot. The light is off. Okay, so two opposites, the opposite of an opposite, we're in the same spot we started with. Let's try this in another fun way. So if you're like me, you're sitting down right now. You're at home, watching this in a car, somewhere you're seated. The opposite of sitting is going to be standing, right? There we go. We're standing now. We've done one opposite. Now let's do the second opposite, the opposite of standing. So when I do the opposite of standing, I sit back down. Now that we have two opposites, I've ended up in the same spot that I started. Hmm. I bet this has something to do with fractions. Really? Hmm. How do we divide fractions? So let's take a look. I'm going to dive over here, and I'm going to look at two of my favorite fractions. We have 1 half divided by 3 quarters. So you've told me that you know how to divide small numbers. You know how to divide big numbers. But what? What's that? You don't know how to divide fractions? It's okay. I don't either. Neither does anybody else, really. But we do know how to multiply, right? So let's just change this to multiplication. I'm going to rewrite our first number because our first number will never change. Then we're going to do the opposite of division. And I know the opposite of division is multiplication. But let's think back to this light. If we had it off and only flicked the switch one time, the light would be on. But being on is not the same thing as being off. That required two opposites. So let's take a look at this 3 fourths. How can we do the opposite of 3 fourths? Well, I don't know if you know this, hopefully you do, but Mr. Spencer, that's me, used to be a cheerleader. I used to throw people, I used to yell loudly, but I also used to be able to do a handstand. Now here's me, standing up, 
But in order to do a handstand, I need to go choo 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 choo, and I end up upside down. Opposite of right side up. The opposite of right side up is upside down. Now we're going to take our fraction here, three fourths, and you told me the opposite right side up was upside down. So let's take both Mr. Spencer as a cheerleader and three fourths and turn it upside down. Now that's the opposite of three fourths is another upside down, but four thirds. And don't worry, we'll go much more in depth in this tomorrow when you work on your own as well as on Wednesday. But I just want to give us an introduction. So we see that there are two opposites here. And we remember just like standing up then sitting back down two opposites or turn the light on and then turn it back off again. There are two opposites. So now that we know this, this right here is all equal to this. We've changed two things to the opposite and two opposites gets us back to our original starting point. So now we're gonna multiply our fractions. When we multiply our fractions, we just multiply the top straight across and the bottom straight across. So the top would be one times four, that's a four. Bottom is two times three, and two times three is six. Well, there we go. Now we have a fraction. We have divided these two fractions, and we have gotten a result. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Interesting. We took two opposites, and we ended up with our answer. Did we have to do any actual division? Nope. We switched our division to multiplication, because we also switched this second fraction to a multiplication problem. How cool is that? Awesome. Well, that is just about the end of our class for today. I know you've taken a lot of time to think, do some division problems out. This will set the basis for what you'll be doing on your own tomorrow as we look more in depth about dividing fractions and why we do that. But as we wrap up today, I want to know what you are optimistic about. Sorry, what you are curious about for our optimistic closure. So what is something that you are curious about fractions? Um, think about what you're curious about and then share it out loud in a chat or in a discussion post. Tell somebody else. They'd love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear it if you'll share it with me. Shoot me a message on Schoology if you want. But I want to know what you're curious about fractions because that's what we'll be spending the next couple of weeks. Awesome job today, Trojans. Have a fantastic Monday, and I will see you back here on Wednesday. Goodbye. I lost my mouse. There we go.